The final numbers are in for the trio of newcomers this weekend, The Dark Tower $19.1 million, Kidnap $10 million and Detroit $7.1 million, and all three pictures underwhelmed, sending the top 10 box office down 21.6% from last weekend. For the calendar year to date, box office is off 2.9% from 2016. Next weekend, moviegoers will see a spin-off prequel and an animated sequel opening Annabelle Creation will open wide as will open Rhodes' animated family film The Nut Job 2. However, neither is expected to inject much life into the box office. Here are the final numbers for the three-day one, The Dark Tower SONYMRC, 3,451 theaters, three-day cube $19.1 million per screen average $5,550 week one two, Dunkirk WB, 4,014 theaters, 266 three-day $17.1 million per screen $4,269 total cube $133 million week three three, The Emoji Movie Sony, 4,075 theaters or three-day twelve. $12 million, 51% per screen, $2,946, total $49.1 million, week 2, 4, Girls Trip Uni, 2,582 theater, 66, 3-day cum, $11.4 million, 42% per screen, $4,416, total $85.4 million, week 3, 5, Kidnap AVR, 2,378 theaters, 3-day cum, $10 million per screen, $4,212, week 1, 6, Spider-Man Homecoming SO. NYMARVEL 3116 theaters 509 3-day $8.8 .8 million per screen $2839 total $294.9 million week 57 Atomic Blonde FOC 3326 theaters 22 3-day $8.1 million 55% per screen $2453 total $34 million week 28 Detroit ANPA 3007 theaters 2987 3-day $7.1 million, $1,935 per screen, $2,370, total $7.6 million, week 2 9, War for the Planet of the Apes, Fox, 2,704 theaters, 673 day, $6.16 million per screen, $2,281, total $130.4 million, week 4 10, Despicable Me 3 UNILL, 2,445 theaters, 585 3 day, cum, $5.4 million per screen, $2,000, $221, total $240.9 million, week 6 11, Baby Driver Sony, 1,424 theaters, 537, 3 day, $2.5 million per screen, $1,808, total $97 million, week 6 12, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, STXEURO, 1,795 theaters, 1,758, 3 day, $2.39 million per screen, $1,334, total. Total $36.1 million week 313. Wonder Woman WB, 1,307 theaters, 344, three day, $2.28 million per screen, $1,749, total $399.4 million week 1014. The Big Sick LGF, 1,005 theaters, 584, three day, $2.1 million per screen, $2,512, total $33.9 million week 715. Jab Harry Met Sajal YRF, 325 theaters, 3 day, $1.28 million per screen, $4,588, total $1.28 million, week 116. An inconvenient sequel Truth to Power, par, 180 theaters, 176, 3 day, $961,000, 670% per screen, $5,340, total $1.1 million, week 217, Cars 3 Dis, 477 theaters, 384, 3 day, $539,000 per screen, $1,132, total $147.6 million, week 818. Wolf Warrior 2 WLGO, 40 theaters, 13 3 day, $506,000, 131% per screen, $15,843, total $1.1 million, week 2 19. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume. 2 Dis, 68 theaters, 3 day, $453,000 per screen, $1,801, total $388.3 million, week 14 20. Wish Upon BGP, 322 theaters, 216, 3 day, $314,000 per screen, $912, total $13.7 million, week 7, Anita Bush reported Monday's final. 
for the second weekend in a row, Sony figured out a way to work around the Rotten Tomatoes system to get a lackluster title to open. Last weekend, it was the Emoji Movie, which posted an OK $24.5 million in second place. This weekend, it's their media rights capital co-production The Dark Tower, which is taking number one with a modest take estimated at $19.5 million. Sony by no means can either film be considered a resounding victory, if they had been warmly embraced by critics and audiences, the sky would have been the limit at the box office, Dark Tower is based on fan favorite Stephen King's novel, and the translation from book to screen was never going to be exact due to the book's complexities in genre twisting some directors, writers, and studios like Bad Robot, Universal and Warner Brothers realize that. We analyzed earlier in the weekend whether Dark Tower would have just been better suited for television from the outset. Sony TV and MRC are already making good to fans with a planned TV version led by former Walking Dead showrunner Glenn Mazzara. In regards to the film version, there are low overall positive scores here on Comscore Screen Engine's post-track showing that 25 and the leading male demo both gave Dark Tower a 67% grade. The one positive takeaway here is that while other studios couldn't figure out financially how to construct Dark Tower, Sony and MRC did. Universal reportedly had the Ron Howard-directed version at $160 million and wisely opted not to make it. Sony and MRC saw how risky Dark Tower was in its genre mashup which, by the way, never works at the BEO, Reed Cowboys vs. Aliens, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies and partnered 5050 on this mid-range net $60 million budget. Dark Tower was an ambitious and bold undertaking made at the right price, said Sony's domestic distribution boss Adrian Smith this morning. There is also something to be said for gaming the Rotten Tomatoes system. Not every movie is built for critics, and in the old days, Middle Brawl Fair's box office fate WASNT dictated by reviewers. What's occurred in the social media age is a pack rad reviewer tones where critics take their cues from their associates. This spills over onto Rotten Tomatoes, and a film lives or dies by this Roman Senate, Get Out, Baby Driver, and even now New Line Warner Brothers Annabelle Creation did something smart, in that they got their films before a select crop of people, garnered a great RT score, and then sold the picks on that also, Get Out and Baby Driver can speak for themselves they were excellent movies and rose to the top propelled by audience buzz. Gaming the Rotten Tomatoes system, you might say call it what you will, but it's distribution's job to open a movie. In the case of Sony, they held back reviews as late as they could for Dark Tower and Emoji Movie and got them started so they could last the rest of the month, again, not a wondrous result with Dark Tower, but here it sits in first place. Talk about an awful weekend at the BEO. Comscar reports that this weekend at $123 million is 46% off from the same weekend a year ago, when Warner Bros. DC's Suicide Squad conquered as the top opening for August with $133.7 million. This weekend was for the taking, and no major studio decided to program a massive, four-quad appealing tentpole. What a lost opportunity. No thanks to summer, the annual BO to date is lagging 3% behind 2016 which was a banner year at $11.4 billion with $7 billion. Hopefully the fall and holiday seasons can make up the difference. Annapurna Warner Brothers Dunkirk, which has been adored by critics and moviegoers, dipped only an estimated 34% in its third weekend with an estimated $17.6 million in second. It's proof that period, when done right, can shine at the box office. Too often, sans any awards momentum, distributors find this period to be a challenge at the multiplex. However, another potential awards contender, Catherine Bigelow's Detroit from Annapurna, despite having the best reviews and audiences scores out of this weekend's wide entries, respectively with an 88% certified fresh and a cinema score, DIDNT find that love spill over into its opening weekend, which looks to settle at $7.25 million, not a fantastic start for a movie which cost between $35 million $40 million. How does one critically acclaimed, mass-adored movie rise while the other fails? Dunkirk has a hopeful ending, while it's dazzling in the IMAX format in which the pick was shot. While Detroit, as timely and brilliant as it is in these post-Ferguson times, is rather controversial in its corrupt cop story, not to mention a harsh depiction of a real incident in which three African Americans were murdered in 1967 Detroit. This film is meant more for specialty audiences than commercial ones, and should have found its way to the mainstream audiences via a longer platform and festival momentum. Some like to say that bad box office never works in the favor of awards contenders, but hopefully that's not the case here, because it would be a shame.
Again, Bigelow's Oscar winner The Hurt Locker WASNT a mass appealing hit at $17 million, but it was positioned differently in the market from the onset. Once moviegoers leave Detroit, they're amazed. The trick for Annapurna is to keep Weird Off Myth alive, much of that coming from advocates from well beyond Hollywood, including Al Sharpton, Texas Congressman Sheila Jackson Lee, and American critic Henry Louis Skip Gates Jr. We hear the original 20 runs of Detroit held quite well. Annapurna is completely behind the movie, Natch, and wanted to launch Detroit tied to the 50-year mark of when these tragic events occurred. Detroit is a quality film and it's the type of movie Annapurna wants to be known for as it handles its own product going forward. Remember when Revolution Studios first made its mark in 2001 as an independent production studio turning out mainstream fare its debut was the raunchy bachelor disaster Tomcats $13.6 million, which featured a scene where a bunch of guys down Viagra and head to a wedding. Some asked at the time are these the types of movies Revolution wants to be known for Av Iron while diversity was present on the marquee with three films starring black actors, Av Iron is celebrating a win with its Halle Berry popcorn movie Kidnap, which is estimated to have pulled in $10.2 million, according to Av Iron. The film, which was shot three years ago and buried beneath Relativity's financial woes, was rescued by David Dinerstein's new film label for an estimated $3 million and will profit toward the end. Lotus Entertainment handled foreign pre-sales on Kidnap and originally got the project off the ground. We're extremely pleased with the weekend results for Kidnap, said Aviron chief David Dinerstein this morning. As Aviron's first release, it surpassed industry expectations. Positive audience response and the summer play yet to come should result in a solid total box office return. There wasn't any fat on the bones in regard to the number of theaters Kidnap rolled into, which numbered 2,378 venues. Aviron specifically targeted African-American, Hispanic and female moviegoers with a PA spend in the teens, versus what many say was $40 million for Detroit, again, two very different movies, in that Kidnap is pure escapist entertainment. The pick played broad to Caucasians 46%, African-Americans 25% and Hispanic audiences 22%. Females under 25 21% loved Kidnap the most at 85% positive, while females over 25 42% gave the Luis Preto directed movie a 73% positive. Kidnap was the little engine that could this weekend. Another feather in Av Iron's cap this summer was that they handled the marketing on Entertainment Studios $43.10 M grossing genre sleeper 47 meters down. Weinstein Co. had a great start with the Taylor Sheridan thriller Wind River posting $41,000 per theater after four Los Angeles and New York runs minted a total three-day of $164,000. See Brian Brooks' specialty box office report here. For previous Friday-Saturday update on box office, go here. The top 10 based on Sunday AM Studio reported estimates for the weekend of August, 46-1, The Dark Tower SONYMRC, 3,451 theaters $7.7 .7 million Fry includes $1.8 million Previews 6.7, $5 million Set $5 million Sun 3 Day Cum $19.5 million Week 1 2, Dunkirk WB, 4,014 theaters 266 $5 million Fry 7.3 million dollars set 5.3 million dollars sun 3 day cum 17.6 million dollars 34 percent total 133 dollars and 60 cents mwk 33 the emoji movie sony 4075 theaters 03.9 million dollars fry 4.9 million dollars set 3.6 million dollars sun 3 day cum 12.35 million dollars 50 percent total 49 dollars and 45 cents mwk 2 4 girls trip uni 2582 theaters 66 3.6 million dollars fry 4.7 million dollars set 3.1 million dollars sun 3 day cum 11.4 million dollars 42 percent total 85 dollars and 40 cents mwk 35 kidnap avr 2378 theaters 3.7 million dollars fry includes 500 thousand dollars previews 3.6 million dollars set 2.9 million dollars sun 3 day cum 10.2 million dollars week 1 6 spider-man homecoming s-o-n-y-m-a-r-v-e-l 3116 theaters 500 $2.6 million Fry. $3.6 million Set $2.6 million Sun 3 Day Cum $8.8 .8 million 34% Total $294.90 MWK 57 Atomic Blonde FOC 3326 Theaters 22 $2.4 million Fry.
$3.4 million sat $2.4 million sun 3-day Q made $0.2 million 55% total $34.10 MWK2. 8. Detroit ANPA, 3,007 theaters, 2,987, $2.6 million, Fry, $2.6 million, Sat, $2 million, Sun, 3 day Cume, $7.25 million, 1,971%, total $7.80, MWK29, War for the Planet of the Apes, Fox, 2,704 theaters, $671.7 million, Fry. $2.5 million set $1.8 million sun 3 day cum $6 million 43% total $130.30 MWK410 Despicable Me 3 UNIILL 2,445 theaters 585 $1.7 million fry $2.2 million set sun 3 day cum $5.3 million 30% total $240.8 million week 6 notable step FSL 29 theaters $54,000 fry $54,000 set $37,000 sun but $5,000 3 day cum $145,000 week 1 wind river TWC 4 theaters $52,000 fry $64,000 sat $48,000 sun for $41,000 3 day cum $164,000 week 1 an inconvenient sequel truth to power par 180 theaters 176 $350,000 fry $342,000 sat $208,000 sun 3 day cum $900,000 621% total $1.05 MWK2